Hi there and welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video, we are going to see a landing page optimization, or at least the theoretical background that you need to have in order to know landing page optimization. So in landing page optimization, you have the word landing page, which refers to the page by uh, which people are going to enter within your website, thanks to an ad, thanks to uh, an acquisition channel that you use. And optimization refer to the possibilities that you have in order to optimize this given page in order to convert even more. Uh, sometimes the landing page is, uh, let's say, associated with the home page because in some cases uh, you have like a one uh, page website. Uh, but landing page is, let's say, really the page that you design in order to convert the most uh, by the acquisition channel that uh, you grab the visitor with. So here below you have the list of the different best practices that I, uh, that I listed. There are many others, it's just a kind of a draft list that I, uh, that I set. And in fact, what you need to keep in mind is that when you design a page in order to convert, well, you need to go to, through all of them in order to ensure that you put the maximum chances in order to convert a given uh, visitor on your website. So let's see one by one each of those uh, bullet points. So first uh, thing that you need to have is a catchy headline. The idea is that with a catchy and descriptive headline, people can clearly understand what uh, your offer is about. Then you need to have a sub headline. This sub headline is here in order to uh, insert an additional message that you didn't have the chance to explain within the headline. Then you need to have a CTA on your page and the CTA refer to the action that you would like the given uh, visitor to make. So it can be about uh, register right now, it can be about purchase or product, order it now, book an event or that kind of thing. I mean, that, that's the CTA, that's the verb that you use in order to clearly explain to the visitor what you expect from her or him. And of course, you need to respect some specific rules. So it needs uh, this CTA needs to be above the fold. You may need to repeat it uh, several times among the page if your page is uh, is long. It has to stand out from the page. You probably need to put that within a button, and this button needs uh, to stand out from uh, the, the page. You probably need to play with the colors as well in order to make it visible. And let's say if you make your page visible in just uh, two seconds, then after those two seconds, ask uh, your tester or the person to which uh, you would like uh, to know what she or he think about your page, uh, what they remember about your page, and if they can remember your CTI, you know that you are on the right track. Uh, use bullet point lists about your offer or services or product in which you will list, in fact, the benefits of your product and services or and the features. And of course, you give uh, the priority to the benefits if you don't have enough spaces to list them all on the page. Have a special offer like um, discount code or um, anything which could uh, feel like um, uh, it's an emergency and that's uh, an exclusive offer that people have to go for. So do not hesitate to use uh, figures and things such as minus 50%. Do not hesitate uh, to tell in terms of uh, currency, in terms of money that people are going to save. Have pictures and videos because that's probably the first thing that people will have a look out. If uh, you include a video, make it clear at the end what you expect the people uh, to do, such as buying our product or do it now. Uh, if it's about pictures, clearly show pictures which are showing the benefits of your product so people are happy with it or they feel with it. Um, Above the fold means that you need to put the most important information above the fold. So here the fold of my page is the following line that you can see it down below. Uh, use the right colors. Okay, people do should not have the feeling that when they land on your page, they are not on the official website. So you really need to make your website consistent, including on the landing page. Include your target uh, within your content. So for example, if your products and services are here in order to target uh, people which are of gender, which is uh, between 20 year old and 30 year old, well, of course, uh, do not put images about older people on your pages, but people uh, from uh, the, um, at the age uh, range that you uh, focus on. Have one clear focus. So your landing page should be designed in order to be focused on only one offer and one target. Make a quick test. So do not hesitate to ask your friend, your relative um, to clearly have a look at your page. And after 10 seconds, switch off uh, your screen 
and ask them what they remember about the page. And if they don't remember anything or if they don't remember uh, the thing that you would like to hear, that's probably because your page is not well optimized. Um, make it clear as well uh, who is the company uh, visible on the page who have a logo with a baseline um, behind uh, showing clearly what uh, the company is doing. Uh, test your uh, sales pitch. Avoid uh, the possibility for your visa visitor to leave the page. So try to remove as many links as possible if you have the possibility to do it with your website. So typically uh, the top bar menu is the best way in order to lose uh, your visitor. Um, if you are using forms, uh, make them short. Okay, so do not ask any, let's say, information that you don't really need, uh, such as maybe the physical address or that kind of thing, if you don't need them yet. Okay, just ask for the email in order to have a point of contact with them. Um, do you offer several ways to contact you? That's probably one of the most uh, important thing within the landing page. You need to give as many possibilities to uh, your leads to contact you. So it's adding a phone number, it's as well adding a chat system, it's as well adding a form, it's as well adding the social networks, it's as well um, adding the possibility to send them a snail mail or any point of contact that you imagine. You need to make them visible and you need to clearly explain how uh, you can in fact answer them. So if you are, for example, uh, some working hours, precise those working hours like this, uh, people will, will know in fact in uh, how much time it will take you to answer them. Uh, do not forget to include privacy and legal terms. That's typically the case when you are using a landing page which is isolated uh, from the rest. So uh, please add those things because some people may expect those things to be present on your page. Add certification, references, third-party players, every everything which could in fact clearly say that okay, those products, those services have been tested and this is why you should go for them. Uh, prioritize what you have to show because the point is that as you saw over here, you have many, many things to include. So of course you have to prioritize what you want to show first. So both the fold according to what really matters to your audience. Um, keep in mind that this given landing page should be measurable. So you need to be able to uh, set an analytic software behind in order to know how people are interacting um, about it. And that's clearly the right place where you can put a click map or session recording or A-B testing in order to ensure that people are reacting the way that you expect them uh, to react. Um, catch the one which are trying to leave. Uh, you have several solutions such as a W bounce, which can be very helpful in order to identify that someone's going to leave the page. So typically if you're going to website like this and that uh, you try to leave, as you can see, you get this pop-up banner, which is um, uh, showing out, trying to grab an email. That's typically the kind of thing that you can do. Okay. In any cases, your lead is lost if uh, she or he is leaving and quitting the page. So why not trying to get it? Um, that's where as well you can do remarketing. I didn't mention it here, but that's definitely what you can do as well. And ask yourself uh, what the person should do once uh, the process is done. So imagine that the person is going to convert, then your work is not finished yet. You need to find a way um, to explain him or her what's going to happen next. Okay, so you're going to receive an email uh, within the next seconds or within the next minutes. Or if you have a question, please just ask Bob, for example, and uh, Bob will answer to you and will be your main point of reference. And um, of course, test a lot. And what you can do as well is uh, look at uh, web articles such as this one, a listing, for example, um, several websites which are considered as uh, doing really well in terms of landing pages like this. Uh, you will have a clear idea of how, what it looks like and what you could improve, what they did well what they didn't and how you can even push uh, your landing page optimization techniques uh, to the limits. And that's it uh, for the explanations about uh, what a landing page optimization is about. Of course, practice, practice and practice in order to uh, fully understand uh, what landing page optimization is about. Thanks for watching.